We're back. It's a new episode of NBA 2K TV. The 2022 WNBA season is tipping off today with all 12 teams in action this weekend. And whether you're on last gen or current gen, you can enjoy all aspects of the WNBA. You can jump into a quick game, grind through a playoff bracket, or control a franchise and build your dream team. There is something for everyone. But exclusive to current gen is... Coming up next, the Pacers taking on the Thunder. For the Indiana Pacers, gaining momentum as we reach the midway point. Tonight, another chance to put the league on notice. They're coming. Thunder, Pacers, coming right up. Welcome and thanks for joining. A look at the opening lineup for the Oklahoma City Thunder. They've got Derek Favors. Lugans Dort out there with Alexei Pokashevsky. Then it's Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Giddy in a shooting guard. And for Indiana, we've got Malcolm Brogdon. Thaddeus Young out there with TJ Warren. Then there's Miles Turner. And it's MP in at the one spot. Oh, and Turner with a block. Here we go. Here's MP. And he parries his first look. A big decision for MP coming up this summer. Grant, he'll be fielding offers from around the league as he hits free agency. And you know, it's strange that MP is already a free agent. A strange quirk in his contract. But he's set to capitalize on it, and he'll be a hot commodity indeed. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. Not exactly how you want to dive into the game. Picks up his first foul right off the bat. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. That'll put some fear into the shooters, and he made sure to do it early, too. Now here's MP. Last game, he had 28 points. Warren. Here's MP. And the layup is good. MP. MP's got his second basket of the game. And we know MP can make the highlight reel play. Right there, he shows you how he can make the hustle play, too. Inside, Pokashevsky. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Here's Giddy, guarded by Young. Six on the shot clock. Turner against Favors from outside the arc. It doesn't go for him. So the Pacers will take it the other way. They defeated Washington in their last game. Yeah, and that one came down to their rebounding. There was a big gap between the two teams there. That was a coach's dream, to get that kind of effort and intensity on the glass and for it to pay those kinds of dividends, critical. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. Brogdon with the ball. Now Gilgis Alexander defending. It's really a little bit insane to think that back in 2016, Malcolm Brogdon was a second-round pick. This guy's a special shooter. He's incredibly efficient. He's already led the league in free throw percentage, and we know he takes pride on the defensive end. This guy is a real player in today's NBA. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. A very sluggish start on offense. Four attempts with nothing to show for. Here's Giddy. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. Oh, they get a hand on it. Oh, stolen by Turner. Down low. Here's Young. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Giddy. Off the mark, and the drought continues. <laughs> Just brutal. I mean, five straight misses to begin the game. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Well, Thaddeus Young being aggressive. We want him to put it on the defense and force the issue. Nice. That free throw, no good. Thaddeus Young, two. No good on the second free throw. The Thunder have gone 0 for 5 to begin this game. Here's Giddy. Count it. And that shot gets him in the books. He's Shea one for three. Gilgis With Alexander. repetition, you can see the court awareness of Shea Gilgis Alexander developing. This guy is going to be a problem as a passer. Oh, not the defensive and effort they need to cut into the lead. Boy, good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. It's just too slow to react. You can't afford to sleepwalk through possessions. What's going on out there? 
To the inside. Oh, it's stolen by Gilgis Alexander. And a fast break now for the Thunder. And he goes in for the dunk. Now, I know he makes it look easy, but it takes incredible physical tools to pull that off. Athleticism and explosion. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. Now here's Dort. He had 19 points in the win against Phoenix. Well, terrific Alexei reach on the block. Thaddeus Young stretches out well for a big-time rejection. MP, the pass to Young. And Young slams it in. I'll tell you, that vertical ability he has puts him in select company in NBA power forwards. May not have great That's size, but boy, he ball. plays bigger first than it. Ball. Yeah, he tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. Gilgis Alexander finds Dort. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Favors with it. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Great focus from MP on the defensive end. Shane Not allowing the shooter to slip by him. You're fighting to keep the possession alive. Live, something this guy does so well. To the paint. Pass to Turner. Now Brogdon. Left side Young. Just five to shoot. MP, the pass to Turner. The rebound by Favors. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. Dort for three. Knocks it down from distance. So Dort's got five now. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. MP, the pass to Young, and Young slams it in. You can't leave someone open on MP's squad because he's solid at recognizing the overcommitment. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Dort outside. Pass to Giddy. Let's go with a three. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Well, this has not been a quarter to remember for this guy. He looks completely flustered. Now here's Turner. Favors covering. Oklahoma City has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Here's Giddy. Favors in the post. Young's there. Favors misses. Indiana leading. Warren, the pass to MP. And the bucket is good. He's got six. Well, this is one aspect you'd like to see more of from TJ Warren. We know he's a great scorer. Pretty dime there. The teardrop. Oh, and Turner with a block. Oh, and the fast break for the Pacers. Brogdon, the pass to MP. And Gilgis Alexander with a block. And a fast break now for the Thunder. Second chance effort. Gilgis Alexander on the wing. Goes back up. The shot, no good. And Indiana will come the other way. Their last encounter in Oklahoma City, where they were able to handle the Thunder. And last time out, they seized the advantage with their defensive pressure. They did a great job of just forcing a lot of turnovers. Yeah, I thought the giveaways were a tremendous factor. Here's Favors. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. They've got MP. Chris Boucher out there with Miles Turner. Then it's Halliburton, and it's Dorte in at the small forward position. So that's the group out there for Indiana. And in the league today, we've got some all-time greats playing out on the wing. But... Who do you think the best wing in the NBA is right now, Grant? Oh, boy, oh, boy. You're trying to get me in trouble. That's a tough one. I mean, you have LeBron, you have Giannis, you have Kawhi, KD. All of them are elite. All of them are champions. So if I had to choose, I guess I'll go with, I don't know. 
They're just all great. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line from there. We'll never question MP's toughness. I mean, he's willing to take a few lumps down low if it means points <laughs> or a trip to the line. Young, he's checked in for Boucher. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He had 28 points in the win against Phoenix. And let's not forget about the assist. This guy as a playmaker was a driving force for that offense. And that one's good. And the Pacers lead by 15. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Well, he's attacking, he's forcing the issue, and that simply stated a terrific play. Gilgis Alexander. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got four rebounds in the game. I'll tell you, no matter what he does, he can't find his rhythm, and you get the sense he's starting to press a little bit. The best way to get a clean look is with those quick hitters on the break. What a beautiful fast break opportunity, and the finish pretty good. And the foul NBA called on MP. MP. That's foul number two for him. That's, That's two fouls in as many quarters. He may have to adjust his approach now. Here's Giddy. An 11-point game for him and the win against Phoenix. And the other thing, guys, he really got after it on the backboards. What a complete game for this guy. Roby inside, guarded by Young. It's stolen by Halliburton. You love that defensive effort right there showing up. All right, guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for Indiana? They've come out in full attack mode defensively, applying pressure and stealing it away repeatedly. Yeah, and I think the other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points they've gotten off turnovers. Damn, that one's good. Gilgis Alexander. They can see the ball handling ability of Shea Gilgis Alexander. Moves with precision, creates opportunities in pick and roll action. That's nice. Boy, now you have to think about pulling him. Three fouls already in this half. A fourth would be inexcusable. Here's Halliburton. 13 points in the win against Washington. In total command of the offense. The passing was insane, especially when you consider how many points he put up. From the baseline, Pacers with a rebound. MP's got four rebounds now. Halliburton outside. Here's the break. Jumps up and slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. Well, just a great read by Shea Gilgis Alexander. Getting in transition, making it easy. Here's Young. Gilgis Alexander with a rebound. Gilgis Alexander's got four rebounds now. And it's Giddy missing. The Pacers have gotten five of seven shots to go in the second. To the middle. Here's Young. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his second personal foul. Now, Thaddeus Young is capable of playing multiple positions. He is an efficient blue guy who always seems to play to his strengths. For Oklahoma City, they've gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. Here's Pokazewski. He's coming off a 19-point game against Phoenix. And his assist numbers were remarkable as well. His play is crucial to this team's success. Pass to Young. Here's Pokazewski. Launches a three. Dorte grabs the board. Indiana's gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Who poked away. Halliburton, the pass to MP. Inside. Down low. There's the block. Here's Giddy. The floater. And that comes off the assist by Gil... Just Alexander. Boy, that's beautiful touch on the floater. And let's remember, not everyone has that shot in their arsenal. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. And the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh. Keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated. Pass to Pakusevsky. 
Gilgis Alexander against MP. Gilgis Alexander attacking. And the shot MP. counts. He's fouled. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that... He's checked in for Indiana. And here in the second half of play, we're just Shane over a minute in. Woo -hoo -hoo, the that burst of speed from Shea Gilgis Alexander put it on the deck, get to the cup. Well, Lou Dort earned his first minutes in the NBA because of his elite defensive prowess. But think about the improvements on his perimeter game last year. Now a legit threat on the offensive end. Taking a look at Oklahoma City. Derek Favors out there with Alexei Pokashevsky. Then it's Shea Gilgis Alexander. Then there's Lou Dort, and it's Giddy in at the shooting guard position. And that one's good. Gilgis Alexander. That's the long-range damage that this coaching staff wants Shea Gilgis Alexander searching for. Nicely done. Oh, it's blocked by Gilgis Alexander. With the drive. And that one's good. Giddy. Give him eight. And Dort smoothed out his jump shot too, Doris, as you mentioned. Much improved numbers. Yeah, you look now and think, boy, this guy went undrafted, and he'll continue to develop as a shooter. Blue Dort now a fantastic perimeter two-way player. That's a heads-up play right there. Reads the floor, distributes accordingly. MP against Gilgis Alexander to the paint. Here's Favors. And that comes off Gilgis the assist Favors. by Gilgis Alexander. Favors got in his second bucket. They're on fire right now. Shooting 80% to start the second half. And then Turner with the dunk. Well, that's called positioning. And Turner has the verticality to make it easy. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And and slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. Are you serious? That is some power from a point guard. Oh, I love backcourt players with some ups. We know versatility is huge in this game. Just a tremendous job finishing that play. Wow. They get the rebound. Turner passes to Warren. MP with it. Pass to Turner. Outside Warren. Five to shoot. The three is up. Trains the triple. Warren's got five points now in the quarter. He's been a steady presence for them. Nice to have that kind of safety net at the offensive end. Well, MP in the last matchup against the Wizards was outstanding. He contributed 28 points and was a constant presence on the board. He had his handprint all over that game. Put up some big numbers. Guys, back to you. And the only question now, how does he follow up that performance? Yeah, each night comes with different challenges, and I'm sure their opponent has seen the film. What you love about this guy, though, is even when the defense adjusts to what he's doing, he'll make an adjustment right back. He is always ready with a counter. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Turner passes to MP. Oh, it's blocked by Gilgis Alexander. Wow, Shea Gilgis Alexander off his feet, sends it back. Boucher's checked in for Young. And Oklahoma City with a change here, too. Roby, he's checked in for Pokashevsky. Pass to Roby. Now favors. And here's Gilgis Alexander, covered by MP. Off target on the 15-footer. I'm sure he's kicking himself. He hates to blow that kind of opportunity. Here's Brogdon. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First team foul. That's the big, strong, physical body of Malcolm Brogdon, able to take the contact and still get a shot off. Both shots good from the strike. The ball's knocked loose. The Thunder have gotten seven of their nine shots to fall. Quality shooting in the second half. Gilgis Alexander. And Shea slam dunk by Gilgis, Gilgis Alexander. Alexander. Shea Gilgis Alexander attacking and in rhythm on the offensive end. MP, the pass to Turner. Good. And 
the assist goes to MP. MP's got assist number eight now on the night. Oklahoma City has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Oh, and Turner with a block. Oh, how about the reach of Miles Turner? He covers so much ground to come up with these blocks. And no surprise here, right? This guy is not only a gifted player, but he is so smart on the offensive end. Favors the pass to Dort. Here's Giddy. Five on the clock. From 13. Will not go. Misses off the front iron. The Pacers have gotten six of 11 attempts to fall so far in the third. Out of bounds. It'll be Indiana's ball. And the Pacers making a change here. Halliburton is checked in. And Oklahoma City with a change here too. Muscala's checked in. MP, the pass to Boucher. And that one, good. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Here's Gilgis Alexander, and the 10-footer finds the target. Gilgis Alexander's got 13 points now in the quarter. MP, the pass to Halliburton. Warren against Dort. From the strike. And too long on the shot. And the Thunder shooting only 42%. To the inside. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Gilgis Alexander's got six assists in the game. MP, the pass to Boucher. Back to MP. And so the ball out of bounds. Gilgis Alexander tucks it last. You see his active hands knocking that pass out of bounds. Well, that's what you call a game of inches. They talk about it in football. We see it right there. The Pacers making a switch here. Smith's checked in. Williams is checked in for Oklahoma City. Man comes in for Gilgis Alexander. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. Pass to Giddy. Offensive board. Roby's shot is good. You have to appreciate the doggedness and intensity on the glass. Wow. MP drives in. That one goes. Counting. MP's got 15 points. Taking initiative on the drive. When MP sees a lane open up, he rips right through it. Williams against Warren. Pass to Muscala. Fires the three. That one is off. And Indiana will come the other way. Next matchup, they'll be at home against the Celtics. It's game three of a trifecta at home. Here's Giddy. And they cash it in right away with a quick shot. He's got 12. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. A nice shot by MP. Inside the paint, MP plays with real heart. Not allowing the... Defense to discourage him. Pass to Roby. Inside. Here's Muscala. Blocked! And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. MP, the pass to Smith. Hey, nice D from Muscala. Oklahoma City's gone just one of three from deep since the break. Here's Roby. Good D by MP. They're enjoying a sizable lead. And what I like, B.A., they haven't stopped pressing the issue. It's an even three-on-three three break. Here's Mann. A reliable offensive contributor, putting up almost 14 a game. He takes it in. Deflected! Here's Halliburton. Good, and the assist goes to MP. MP's got assist number 11 for him here tonight. All right, guys, a breakdown here of the hustle stats for Indiana. 
Oh, their defense has been outstanding. Closing out on shots and blocking quite a few as well. Yeah, and I think something they've also worked hard at tonight is crashing the boards. The second chance points have been coming in bunches. Well, they have the advantage, but you still feel like this guy needs to find a way to get himself going. And for the Pacers, they're shooting about 53% on the third. A very good number. To the paint. Here's the steal. Here's Mann, covered by MP. From 13, Mann misses. Mann's gotten just Two one of his six shots to fall third. here. Two to the middle. Here's MP. Eight makes out of 15 shots. He's got it going. Strong pass there to set up the basket. And Oklahoma City shooting well here in the third, hitting 50% of their shots. 141 left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Back to Roby. Shot clock at six. Muscala finds Williams. The Thunder with another miss. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Here's Boucher. And finished off by Boucher. And an excellent job distributing the ball tonight. You can really see his feel for the game. And that's been his role pretty much from the opening tip. Get the ball to guys where they can score it. Here's Mann, covered by MP. Mann, and he banks in the layup. Mann's gotten his second bucket on the night. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Pass to Warren. Gets it. He's 6 for 10 and looking confident out there. Well, T.J. Warren's frame and game perfectly suited for a finish on the interior. Here's Giddy, covered by Boucher. And that one's good, Ooh. man. He's taking what he can get here, has a three in each half. 34 seconds left in the third quarter. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Smith's got seven rebounds in the game. Halliburton for three. Cash gets MP, picking up the assist. Halliburton's got 10 points in the game. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Pass to Giddy. Shoots over Halliburton. And it's Giddy missing. And as we conclude the third, pretty much a blowout here. It's been a one-sided affair. It's the Pacers delivering the blowout. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets... All right, let's take a look at our assist to the game presented by State Farm. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Ricky Rubio is out there with MP. Then it's Thaddeus Young. And it's Smith in at the five, roaming the paint. So that's the group out there for Indiana. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. I'll tell you, even though he's not playing his best basketball, the team has played well and picked it up. I love it. And out of bounds, the Pacers will take it. And some changes here for the Pacers. Jackson comes in for Smith. And Brogdon is subbed in for MP. Malcolm Brogdon. Changes here for the Pacers. Batadze's checked in for Young, and MP subbed in for Brogdon. And the Thunder making a change here. Here's Pokashevsky. It's rebounded by Batadze. For Indiana, they've gone 2 of 5 from the field in this final quarter. The shot by Duarte, no good. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. Pass to man. With efforts to grow the game in Europe, and Asia, and Africa, really everywhere from the NBA, 
Brad, how do you see the future of this game? Well, I think it lies in the young international stars. I mean, you see guys like Luka and Nikola Jokic from Europe and Joel Embiid from Africa. I think we'll see more and more of that as the league and the popularity of basketball grows overseas. I mean, those guys will have the drive and the examples to succeed overseas. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. And that's out of bounds. Oklahoma City will keep it. Now Jackson. Right side, Rubio. A nice shot by MP. Boy, that's the vision and ability to deliver precise passes. Rubio completely on point. Pass to Baisley. Throws it up high. Great teamwork and great timing. Oh, spectacular play. Indiana's gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Yeah, I think he's letting his emotions get the better of him on that pass. Brissett's checked in for Indiana. First team foul. On to the court for the Pacers. Oh, Shane Brissett. Down low. Good, and the assist goes to MP. Well, the coach MP. loves this kind of ball movement. Anytime you create something inside the free throw line, you know it's a good look. Here's Jerome, covered by MP. Jerome attacking, and he drops in the layup Time off the glass. Run. Jerome's gotten his first basket of the night. The Pacers have gone four for ten in the fourth. Here's Brissett. And another dime for him. That makes 15 assists. He has been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Here's Jerome, covered by MP. And the shot goes. What an effective, efficient offensive possession. They'd love to get that shot every trip down the floor. To the wing, right side. This one for three. He buries it from three. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Here's Baisley. Pass to Dort. Well, your seven seconds or less sons really paved the way for the pace and space style that we see throughout the league today, Grant. You know, B.A., it really did. But, you know, it's interesting. I think there were those back then that thought it was kind of gimmicky. <laughs> but, boy, has it changed. And I, I feel like we could have had more success if we had just gone all in on that approach. Well, you get exactly what you want right there. Clean look right at the cup. Nicely done. And the Thunder shooting 44% here in the fourth quarter. Here's Jerome, covered by MP. The 11-footer. Jerome, no good. Indiana's gotten just one of their four threes to go here in the fourth quarter. Rubio passes to MP. Pass to Patadze. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Wiggins for three. It's rebounded by Batadze. Batadze's got four rebounds in the game. Ooh, good finish at the rack Ooh. on the slick feeds. MP's got 10 points here in the second half. Oklahoma City's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Baisley. And here's Dort. From 12 feet. The rebound by MP. MP's got six rebounds here tonight. Rubio passes to MP, and he gets that one. And MP's got six points in the quarter. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Oklahoma City shooting only 39% so far in the game. Dort outside. Pass to Wiggins. Beyond the arc. Oklahoma City, the rebound. The momentum continues to go their way. Pretty much the story of the game. Yep, count it. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Door outside. Clock at six. 
looking to end the run. And the shot falls short that time. And for the Pacers, they're shooting about 60% for the game. Here's MP. That one falls. Coming off Rubio's feed. Rubio's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. And here are the Thunder now. And after this one, they're at home against Sacramento. It'll be a quick stop over at home before they have to get back out on the road. It's Rubio with a drive. MP. Wiggins against Rubio. Let's it go from the baseline and nails it. I'll tell you, the in-between game for Rubio starting to come around. Well, super teams are still being built. Grant, what's the key to making it work with three or four guys who all need touches? Well, it comes down to good communication between your leaders. Of course, you have to have a plan. You can't be out there winging it. And of course, prioritizing wins over stats always works. Just such a terrific dunker. Man, born to fly, that's for sure. Back to Jerome. Lays it up and banks it in. How good a playmaker are we watching? Always leading, always trying to create for others. Pass to Brissett. Back to MP. To the inside. Missed inside. Oklahoma City has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Here's Jerome. He got a piece of it. MP with it. To the wing on the left. Rubio finds MP. Here's Duarte. Misses the baby hook. And for the Thunder, they're shooting 33%. This hasn't been their quarter. Wiggins passes to Dort. Tipped away. Here's Jerome, covered two by MP. Remaining in the game, two minutes. Jerome, that's good. Uh, Jerome. Indiana's gotten just one of their four threes to go here in the fourth quarter. And again, another assist. And that's his 20th assist. Wow. He's doing a great job at orchestrating the offense. Here's Jerome, covered by MP. Pass to Baisley. Wiggins with it. Here's Jerome. Covered by MP. Shoots from the line. Jerome, no good. And Grant, in 2015, you became part owner of the Atlanta Hawks. How pleased were you to see their performance in last year's playoffs? Well, it was incredible. So much fun to see this team come together, rally, and have an incredible run in this past postseason. Now, as a broadcaster, you don't want to have a rooting interest, but I'll confess, it was definitely special to see. Boucher's checked in for Indiana. Brogdon comes in for Rubio. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Pacers. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. VA, <laughs> it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. And this will give them their seventh win of the year. And that's a sweep of the season series. It's clear who the matchup favored. They'll wish they could have seen more of these guys. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for MP. We saw him get a lot of touches tonight, and he wasted very few of them. Really made himself the backbone of their offense. Can't hit from in close. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Knocks it loose. Wiggins. Rebounded by Brogdon. And they've been moving the ball really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. And he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. I just love when MP goes in strong like this. Just daring the defense to get aggressive with him. And both free throws good for MP. Poke loose. Here's Jerome. Covered by MP. Pass to Baisley. And 
And so Indiana takes this one by a big margin. They didn't have too many problems tonight. They didn't. Just a tremendous team effort. Once they had that big lead, they were not going to let the visitors back into the game. And that'll do it, folks. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you next time. What an awe-inspiring performance tonight, MP. What was the key to your success out there? Man, John, we focused on the little things, the fundamentals. We executed the game plan, and we played with effort and focus throughout. So it was a great W tonight. I'm, I'm proud of our guys. Now, were my eyes deceiving me? Because Coach looked like he cracked a smile a few times during this one. What did he like about your performance? Man, that we were communicating, really talking on D, and that's something we've been working on a lot in practice lately. So I'm sure he was just glad to see it. Just a, just a lot of unselfish play in general. People looking to make an extra pass, give up a good shot for a great shot. You know, all that stuff that a well, you know, a well-coached team does. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 the vibes are, the vibes are, little shuffles and a couple friends, PlayStation, then some M&Ms, new work, more money than a vacation, you work hard and play harder, gotta make it make sense, gotta make arrangements for my young bones, a one baby daddy situation was the old norm, these lot just wanna swipe right and watch and I'm just trying to build a legacy Okay, now what's a lexo more? My mum ain't raised no My mother has me in some cordial and some